please stop looking at my coin count. I don't have a gambling problem. Hi, Kibo. Um... You're that curious, huh? It's best if we don't look. But I understand your curiosity. I want to know what's in my video. Um... I understand. I mean, just imagine, what if my video had Kaede in it? Wouldn't that be a heartbreaker? Maybe I can give him something to cheer him up. I don't like having bittersweet moments. I've got a present for you, Kibo. And reading this item description, I can't believe I missed it the first time. The autumn colored scarf. A chic autumn colored scarf that can be used by men, women, and robots. It's very trendy and fashionable, and a fashionable accent to any outfit. There you go, man. Join us humans. This is. Oh my god, a scarf! Yeah, you can have it. I've got two others. Hmm. It's alright. Just your presence is good enough for me. Let's see. Uh, sure. Well, you are a walking, talking automaton. Can I call you Brobot? I understand. <laughs> you have a lot of curiosity yourself. Right. Do I feel superiority from you? Well then. Yeah. Okay. But... Yeah, you're not strong. And you're very gullible, I found out, but... Are you really that much more interesting than me? Oh. Well then. Are you saying you were so powerful that you needed nerfing? A 2013 vision. Really? That's... normal. Why? Well, okay. We'll always be 2013? Well, you have one thing over us, meatbags. Your vision will never go bad. Unless somebody, like, plucked out your eyes. <laughs> if your eyesight gets any worse, send back to sender. Listen Return close. to sender, excuse me. Oh, okay. Raising my hand. Huh? Well, does it matter which hand, by the way? Please. I want you to put your hand in front of my mouth. Uh, um... Do you dispense soda? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll save that one. Stop doing that. Did he turn into a hand dryer? How about this? Oh my god, it is! <laughs> You're a hand dryer! Please wait. You are now better than toaster! Oh, a multi tool! 20 different tools? That's double the digits that most people have. My finger t can detect wafting aromas and even distinguish between different scents. Is that how you smell? A music player for when I'm bored. I can even play tapes and records. You're old fashioned. <laughs> hey, uh, can you dispense paper towels next time? <laughs> the ultimate robot. Yes, you are. In fact, you're one step above my Roomba. I don't want to break his stride. All of these are terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll give you the amazing. Uh, okay. It's great. Well, of course. A straight-up masterpiece.
Oh, okay. Hmm. You're not a super fighting robot, you're just a robot. But... You know, that life of comfort thing is comforting. I... I'm just so gosh darn cute. Huh? Is that your special ability? That's... Uh, you have main character hair? How about this? Because I remember as soon as Danganronpa V3 was announced, you were basically the poster boy. They didn't even show any of the other characters, they just showed you. You're amazing! Do you do kids' parties? I can blow up balloons! Watch me, Shuichi! <sighs> you know what? If those two were talking, I can't even imagine the results. That would actually be really funny. How would Mew react to a walking, talking robot? Would she try to, like, reassemble him? Unfortunately, we have managed to get through the game, and some of the people who are deceased, we never got to talk to at all. all right. This will make it so much easier for me when it comes to bonuses. But you know what? It's okay. We're strong enough to defeat Monokuma. Kibo, I like this morale yeah. boost. And you even said morale. I know this game has a bad habit of reading my mind, or knowing what I'm about to say. But it's getting scary. Oh, absolutely. I've got the perfect present for the ultimate robot. <laughs> Every time his theme comes up, I just see his blush face all the way in the background. Jelly balls. Squishy, colorful beads that swell to marble size when wet. Good for both decoration and gardening. Lining up four of the same color won't make them vanish. Ha! <laughs> I get it. Anyway, here you go. Be a kid again. Thank you very much. Now, I don't think that was a love item. That was just a, a good like item. So, hopefully, this will be enough to get another part of the social link. Shuichi. Yes, it is. Ah, yes, you're the perfect specimen of a work of a walking, talking toaster. The thing is, you're not that impressive, Kibo. I'm sad to say. Um... Why did he make you? What is yes. your purpose? Are you gonna have an existential crisis? Oh, cool! You were literally made by Dr. Light! Just need to get you an arm cannon, and a bunch of brothers that go berserk. I'll be Wily. Huh? You woke I... up one day and said, I'm a real boy, Papa. Your AI gave you a specific amount of emotion, and blushing was one of them. Embarrassment was one of them. Oh dear. Huh? Yikes, how bad are we talking? Oh, that's good. Oh. In a manner of speaking. I was overcome by the emotional response known as sadness. Aww. Hey, wait, that is the first law of robotics! Yikes! That is an accident. Kibo, I didn't know you could actually go rogue. This is... And thus... The new Kibo became reborn that day. I...
wow, so the violent nature died and then he got reborn into this. That's really neat. The professor raised me as his own, clutching his broken arm and missing leg. Interesting. So that was a hard reboot. Wow. Well, I'd say the second time round, you're doing pretty good. No. Yeah, you fit the title perfectly. You're the perfect son. The ultimate son. Hey! Absolutely. Go fuck yourself, robot boy. No! Don't immediately think that everyone's robophobic. If you do that, you'll become a basket case. Good to know you, Kiba. Wow, that's an interesting backstory. You always hear about the AI that goes rogue and, you know, tries to take over the world and whatnot. And then you got AIs like Jarvis and now Kibo that just, you know, needed a little factory reset. Hey, Kibo! How you doing, buddy? Shuichi. Oh, I would love to spend time with you. Need to get to know my Robro. The Brobot. I... Oh, wait, I think that's already taken. Oh, that's okay. My, my opinion on your design, it shouldn't matter what I have to say. Yeah, then again, you could have a couple remodels. I'm sure Mew has done some things to you that you don't even know about. I can only imagine. Turn Kibo around and he has a tramp stamp now. Says Mew's property. Alright, friend. I'm gonna be honest. We spoke with you so late in the adventure that I don't remember what we were talking about. So hopefully this will spark up some memories. I, it's possible we were just talking about your design. It's also possible we were talking about getting out of here. We also could have been talking about how people are robophobic. I don't know. We'll figure something out. I hope this doesn't seem just like the perfect gift. Oh, a practical gift. Okay, that's cool. Listen closely. You're happy because it's so practical. Okay, that's good. That's good. I can work with that. Uh, don't think of it that way. Think of it as an actual gift. Shuichi. I heart you, Kibo. A particular matter. Okay. Uh, um, what you got? Yes. Okay, just me. The only one, Shuichi. Um... Oh. Well. Huh. Well, if you want an honest answer, if I you must. are the most average robot I've ever seen. Launch a robot business? Like, repairing robots? Selling robots? Indeed. Business that takes full advantage of my robot capabilities. But you were built with such milk toast abilities. Oh my um, god. Um, He's going to be Hatsune Miku. Listen closely. Minus the hologram. Robots have yet to advance in the pop music genre. <laughs> okay. Sure. For now. Singing is what they're mostly known for, right? Uh, it's a combination. I've experienced plenty of idols in my time. It's a mixture of singing, dancing, the fact that they're cute incarnate. That's... We'll go for dancing, but it's not the only thing. How good's your dancing, Kibo? Can you do the... Hmm. Robot. Well... I wouldn't say I'm bad, but... <laughs> I was just kidding! I was just kidding! Listen okay. You know, I'm just remembering how Kaede was messing with Kibo, and the fact that she pushed the... the restart okay. button on him. 
So I don't know if we're, if we'll get there with Shuichi, but uh, I'm curious. <laughs> that sounds awful. Ugh. Cheese graters in the ears, dude. Ow. Oh. Oh my god, I think it's causing a bodily shutdown in Shuichi. Holy crap! Those are some pipes you got there, Kibo. You can actually kill a human. How about this? Yeah, it was pretty good if I wanted an early grave. Appreciate it. Sorry. That's a good way to put it. That's a very huh? politician way of saying. You suck. No. <laughs> okay, out with it. Yep. Really? Gotta give him the hard truth sometimes. Hmm. Kibo, let's just say this. You not only shattered glass, I think you tore down a couple buildings with that oh. voice of yours. Oh. You could always become a VTuber. Use a voice changer. See, there you go. What do you mean? Happens all the time. Ugh. I'm disappointed in you. An illogical compromise? What do you mean? AI is a reflection of the human desire for greater understanding. Must experience the hardship of training. Oh my god, just because you want to be a human. Okay, well, I was about to say easy way out, but no, you want to take the hard way. That was... That was a thing. <laughs> Seriously, Kibo? That's what you're going with? Okay. Well, Pop Idol Sensation Kibo on his way into the scene. Look out, Love Live. <laughs> we talked a lot about this. Hello, Kibo. You still want to be an idol? Sayaka Maizono, the second. I don't know how we could actually figure this part out. I mean, he doesn't want to fake it. He wants to actually oh, sing right. and put the work in. But if he puts more any work in, he might make people bleed. I, I don't know where to go with this, man. Seems like a lost cause. And I hate saying that for somebody who has a dream. A Yume. Sometimes, some people should not be idols. You know, whenever I look at Kibo, I always go back to the first time I saw his character on the advertisement for V3 and thought we were going to have a robotic Thank protagonist. Thankfully, we didn't. Listen closely. Because Kibo was written to be very... non-self-aware that he is extremely average. Also, I like Shuichi and Kaede as protagonists. Shuichi. Much better than Kibo. IMO. I mean, I'm not going to put any stock into your idol career, if that's what you're talking about. Sorry. Yeah. Really? Well, then. Oh, thank God he avoided it. No more pop sensation. Woo! Dodge the bullet there. Hmm, something else that Kibo could do. Oh, stunt work might be good. High risk work. A robo maid. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Without hesitation. Robo maid. What is it? What are you talking about? You could be Rosie from the Jetsons! <laughs> well, you don't have to be better than her. You, you just are. have to be on par. Hmm. I mean, technically, Kibo, <sighs> you can't be the best in anything because you were made to be just average in everything. I see. There you go. You'll live longer than your occupants. Well then. Oh, I I I don't need any help. No. no, really. 
Uh, you don't need to take care of me. Please. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, cease and desist. Shuichi, don't well, go along then. with this. Oh, Lord. Uh, um... Shuichi? Really? Impossible! Oh, my Lord. Okay, so he's still a high school no. boy at heart. Don't! Huh. Hmm. You know what? After this, I think I'm gonna ask well, Mew to build you a pussy. Because that's what you're acting like right now. Okay. Carry me to my room, Kibo. <laughs> ah, come on, Chuichi, oh, you run along with it. Yeah, take me to bed. That needs some context. Woof. Was that you or me? Did you just throw your back out? No way. Oh. My god! Huh? The professor who built you was a moron! How rude! Jesus! Really? Oh my god! <laughs> 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 he threw his back out! I thought that was just for me in my ripe old age of 32! Holy god, that's funny! Oh, Kibo, you're an embarrassment. Woo! Okay, well, I guess I'll carry you back. Thankfully, he doesn't weigh a ton. Is your back feeling okay, dude? I know every time it happens to me, it takes a good long while for it to get back to its former glory. Maybe we can have Kirumi give you a massage, or maybe Mew would put you under the hydraulic press. I like that line. I'm gonna raise a kid to not be Kokichi. Also, yes, another Kokichi, big or small, would be just as bad. It's a lie! And then he runs around with a pacifier. Oh my god. Well, you're not a pop sensation. You can't help people. You're basically a giant recording device. What else can you do? We might possibly figure this out once I give you some more oil for that back problem of yours. Thank you very much. Got to admit, didn't expect the back problem. Listen that closely. is, that's a new one for robotics. I mean, everybody's scared about the new robotic advancements we've had in the last few years. Just build them like Kibo. Build them like garbage. Are you okay? Yeah, you doing all right? Yeah. Get you some icy hot, make you feel better. That's a very good question, Shuichi. Well, then. Oh, right, 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 business plan, business plan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, getting some lower back strength? My backstory is somewhat lacking. Dude, everything is lacking. Huh? Like, you are straight What's 6 mean? out of 10 in every aspect of your life. I hate to hit you with the cold hard truth. The fact that you're a robot, though, Listen that's closely. an interesting backstory in itself. Eh. Sought revenge against someone, you know, like a tragic hero. Maybe you just need somebody who's been doing 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and 10 kilometers a day. I suppose And so. then you're just their sidekick because you think you're hot shit. Hmm. Maybe if you kill other robots that are a master of one specific thing, take their weapons, that'd be kind of cool. So you don't want combat either. Alright, you're hey. kind of running out of options here, buddy. You're still the ultimate robot. You kind of get that by default. There you go. Well, you'll get there, don't worry. 
We just have to find some blue-haired kid to give you true emotions. Huh? Yeah. So you're basically faking it till you make it. Hmm. Is that all right? We'll accept you just as you are. Because who else gets to hang out with a robot? Huh? Look, you suck at singing. You suck at everything okay. else, but... That's what makes you, you. Yeah! You can get some emotions! Hell yeah! Thank you very much. Serendipitous miscalculation. That's... Because... Uh, wait, what? I'm not beneath you. We're equals. But... Yeah, exactly. Wow, he was a douchebag the entire time! This is... You thought yourself high and mighty? Yes. Okay. That intuition is telling me that I can build a friendship with you, Shuichi. That's nice. Can we Shuichi. go back to the part where you thought you were better than me because okay. you were the ultimate robot? That is actually a perfect way to write this character. A robot who thinks themselves better than us, and then immediately screams, don't be robophobic. What an asshole! But at the same time, I still had fun hanging out with you. At least I found out your weakness is literally anything other than being a robot. Digital love is a new skill we can get. And now I'm curious, what am I getting from him as a gift? What kind of underwear is he rocking? It's just his parts. Okay. Stole his built-in parts. Fantastic, I think. Kibo wants to experience the same emotions we all do, and he wants to be friends with us all. I vowed to help him with whatever career he chose, not as a human to a robot, but a friend to a friend. The robot can feel friendship. And if he gets more friends, he can get more emotions. To become more human-like, to get more friends. Congrats, Kibo. The reticle will lock onto nearby V-points while concentrating, effective during non-stop and mass panic debates. That's a fun ability, Digital Love. Now let's go talk to the next character, whoever it may be. We don't have too many left. Hello, Himiko. Sorry, I had to gamble my life savings away. How you doing? Only seven. I know. This is our first time hanging out, Himiko. And it's been... so many episodes. We still have one loud person, we just can't find the idiot. He's off hiding in his own adventure area. We're fine now, right? Yeah. Actually, uh, yeah! There are quite a few items that Himiko likes, especially if they are references to Harry Potter or anything else that has to do with magic. But, uh, one thing I want to give her, if I can find it again, bird food! A carefully selected collection of fresh seeds for domestic pigeons. Wild pigeons can't appreciate the increased quality, so it'd be a waste to give these, give them these. When I saw this, I thought maybe she can attract an owl, so she can send letters to people. Let's see if it works. Ah. 
Yes! Yes! Get your birds! Actually, this would also help... Oh, duh, pigeons. I completely forgot the ultimate magician. Hey! Um... Yeah. What? <laughs> She's not deaf, but now she is. Uh, um... Right, I didn't have to hang out with you. What a pain. Are you kidding me? How does one be too lazy to speak? Um... Actually, yeah, good question. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Wh when did you decide to become a mage that uses real magic? It's magic. Can you show some to me? Then... <laughs> His eyes just widened. He's just like, show me some magic! Go ahead. I'm watching. There's no mana here, so I can't... If you sacrifice... No. What? Uh, please no. I've already got a date with Kokichi, and he says he's gonna kill me at the end of his social link. Wait. Yeah, I have an issue with that. Does everyone who sees a trick die? I don't know, I think I've asked everyone why they decided to become what they are. Remember. She's just a walking contradiction. What? But I thought you needed mana, which might take some effort to get. Oh, you have a master. Hmm. Oh. Did he teach you everything about magic? Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Wait. Could he shoot fireballs? Well, at least now I know that she learned all of her magic stuff from someone. Good to know. <laughs> she went from lazy to pouty in no time flat. Hello, Himiko! How you doing? Yeah, I want to be friends. So, Himiko was one of those characters that... I'm not surprised didn't get many votes. She's kind of on the boring end of Danganronpa characters, but that's by design. So I'm curious to see how her social link advances, whether we're actually going to get some real magic, or if she's just going to be like, uh, too much effort, I'm going to go to bed now, bye. I mean, it's either that or she's going to make my depression disappear, or maybe detach one of her thumbs. It's like, yeah, it's magic. It's like, oh, yeah, it is. It's magic, I'm still awake. No, I'm just kidding. I, I like making fun of Himiko just because it's so easy. And also the fact that if I were to do this in real life, coming up with a way to burn me would just be too much effort. Starting off strong. Yeah. Hey. Himiko's design, when I first saw it, yeah. pretty much everybody called it, hit the nail on the head, no. ultimate magician, or mage, as she likes to be called. Basically because her witch's hat uh, um. looks like the Harry Potter sorting hat. So, called it right mm. away. Did not expect the personality, though. Is that all right? Oh, right, her master. Okay, it's it's coming back. It's coming back. What are you saying? Known around the world as a legendary mage. Does he fire magic missile? I know that's a low-hanging fruit, but I would love it if okay. her master truly was just a D&D &D master. 
she figured out all of her magical abilities from a mystical DM. Or maybe she watched too much Critical Role and thought, I could do that too. Hmm. There you go. Hmm. Be in charge of your own fate. You need to me. buy that explosion spell. That'll be the only spell you know. But it's powerful. You do knock yourself out every time you use it, but totally worth it, IMO. Oh, that's cool. Your reputation gave you the ultimate mage. In her own mind, of course. How about that? Ooh, you know those? Extreme meat magic. Meat magic. That's not very magical. That's that's something you find at 3 a.m. while surfing through Google. You're on the weird side of YouTube at that time of night. You're just going, what the hell? What did I type in? How did I get here? Hmm. That's fine. We'll answer any question. Using the power of magic. Ooh. Hmm. What if a fly gets into your teleportation? <laughs> yes! The fly? Hmm. Then you'd be face to face with danger. Oh, really? Tell me more, Megamine. Warded against interference. That's... For the best. How about that? It's great for when you want to make flies go away. What do you mean? Uh, um... No, do not. But well, now we're all sad. You're right. Might. Hmm. Okay, good talk. Okay. See you later. Wow, she might be more depressed than Shuichi. Wow. Well, maybe her master is her dad or something like that. Maybe he's the one that gave her her hat and then she was like, Oh, they're my mage. Goodbye, Himiko. I'll talk to you tomorrow when you've replenished your mana. Hello, ultimate mage. What shall we do today? Yes, I need your magic. We are going to storm Monokuma's castle, and I need a powerful mage at my side. We will destroy the bear? What do you mean you already tried that and it didn't work? Couldn't quite pull it off with my current spell list. Well, what if we combine our powers? Uh, too much effort. You know, I've been using the quote, maximum effort, lately. It's something that Deadpool uses in the movies. And I just thought, you know what, that's actually a pretty good quote. Maximum effort. You just put the work in, and then you get it done. Himiko is, like, anti-maximum effort. <laughs> like, getting up in the morning. Eh, too much effort. In, in some cases, yeah, that's a mood. I feel that. Here you go. Have some bunny apples. You. Find Himiko a good gift spell? It's called the internet. So, do we want to talk about Master today, or do we just want to nyeh all over the place? Get some Brooklyn rage in here. What a pain. Breathing. <laughs> huh? What? Yes, breathing That's doesn't take too much effort. Just suck in oxygen with my magic. Hold on, breathing spell. Ollie Ollie Pop! <gasps> there we go, magic! Yeah, I want to hear more of your story. What? You're kidding. Remember? Yes, you on stage with your master. Yeah? It's, uh, no. it's either that or we'll just be like staring at one another for the day. Yeah, there we go. Inflate your ego. 
Uh, sure, show me how special mages are. And the hardships you had to go through all the... Oh, hey, she did the breathing spell! I... As I traveled the world with my master, I realized something odd. When I was on stage, the audience was cheering for me, not my master. I thought, there's no way they'd be cheering for me over my master. Huh? No way. That's right. My master is a great mage that exceeds even me. Was it because Why? you were the cute young child on stage? <sighs> we were sent letters and gifts from fans all the time. Uh-huh, they were all addressed to me. So you were... The candy. How great I was and called my master old-fashioned. <laughs> Those aren't fan letters. Jeez. To make a trap like that, I didn't want their praise. Disgusting huh? non-believers. That's right. It was all a trap to make me leave my ma- What do you mean? Someone tried to take my master's title of Archmage, did something so sneaky. D no. No, it's not that complicated. Yeah, I think you just went above and beyond. Plus Ultra, Himiko. Oh, you finally parted from your master. Wait, what do you mean? The curse and the letters affected him and slowly drained him of his powers. He is a little long in the tooth. I was invited to magic shows. See, there you go. It, it worked. To make me the headline, not my master. Well, isn't that what you would want? I don't know. Well, okay. Yeah, that's the reason. Why you? Are we gonna have like a Tenko situation where she's gonna realize that her master just never existed or was a man? Ah. <sighs> She had outgrown her master. Oh, uh, rip in peace, Master Mage. Huh? What happened? No! No! Huh? That the story does not end here! Oh come on! There was a time limit for you telling your story? Garbage! Aw oh, man! Okay. Well, Shuichi, we just got blue balled by the ultimate mage. For a story she refuses to finish. Hello, Himiko. One more time. One more time. Of course I came to invite you, silly. I need something sawed in half. Magic. And I need to make sure the audience can't see it. You know, I've actually seen... So, there are a few magic shows and talent shows where people perform magic. And most of the time, I like being able to figure it out myself. And even if I can't, it still, like, just amazes me. What's... Intriguing about some magic it, it, is it depends on where you are in the audience. Now, they have to perform a trick that is within view of everyone. So let's say you're looking at a huge auditorium, stage is to your back, and everybody's looking at you. That's a lot of eyeballs looking at your trick, and one false move, somebody might be able to solve your trick. But I saw somebody who was filming just off, off to the side. I think it was a studio camera. You. They were showing off to the side, and they saw the trick being performed, and I couldn't tell how they did it. They made somebody appear out of nothing. And I was like, okay, that's pretty awesome. Sorry. This is why uh, Penn and Teller Fool Us is just one of my favorite huh? things to look up every now and again, because when they figure out the trick, they speak in magician's terms so as not to give away the trick. And sometimes okay. I've been able to decipher what they say, and it's really cool how they were able to catch it, so when I go back and watch it, I can look for the same things. You got it, girlfriend. Tell me about your magic. You seemed hyped up for some reason. Is it because you hey, talked about your master? Me. Wait, I thought you said it was the end. Okay. If you could actually tell me, that'd be great. <laughs> Just run along with it, Chuichi, please. Yeah. I mean, interest is a strong word. It's more ticking off the box of a collectathon. Oh, he retired! Okay. 
person after his title got just what he wanted. Ooh, a rival mage. Huh? Who came in? Hmm. My master was about to start one of his shows. Way in the back of the audience, my master's enemy was working his scheme. Ooh, this should be interesting. Mortal enemy of mages in this world, is it YouTube? Uh, um... Please tell me it's a high frame rate camera. An anti-mage. Yep, this is in straight up manga territory. Took away my master's magic and made him fail. Oh no! There's no way he would have failed otherwise. <laughs> well... The old mage master wouldn't lose to an anti-mage. Did he, like, pass out? Was he doing a trick where he was tied up in water and he just failed? With my magic. Hmm. Well, at least she tells off hecklers. But without any more problems, when went back to the green room, Master vanished without a trace. He ran away after being heckled. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. At least we know that Himiko yes. earned her title fair and square. Stop it. Sorry. I mean, you learn from the best. Go above and beyond, plus ultra. Is she actually self-aware? For your sake, eh. Want to get me involved in a mage power struggle. Oh, uh, you think so, huh? Must have been. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Wow, okay, we're actually getting some, some seriousness. I wasn't expecting this from one of the dullest characters I've ever seen. But we've actually got some emotion. We've got some drama in here in the world of mages. I'm, I'm impressed. Can't wait for the last bit of this story. Hello, Himiko. I wish to speak about your master. Well, he's out of the picture right now, so I guess we can't talk about your master. No, maybe we'll just talk about you. Hey! I would honestly love to see Himiko go on Fool Us. Actually, thinking of that show again. One of the best parts of any episode of Fool Us was when uh, the card mechanic came on and he is able to shuffle the deck right in front of Penn and Teller and they can't even see his sleight of hand. And it, you can actually see Teller just immediately go bring down the trophy. He's fooled us just because he's so talented with a deck of cards. Also, big plot twist, the guy was blind. Great, great episode. Great performance. But now, we get to see how Himiko's story ends, at least as much as she wants to tell us. I'm hoping for a big finale. Right? Something akin to a mage on stage. What? what? Well, sure. Wait! <laughs> Something about your master. Don't worry, I can help you find him. Yeah. He doesn't exist. Okay. Oh, ooh, Shuichi coming in clutch. Unless that's not real. Hmm. Be hopeful. It's fine. Mm. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of confidence. I mean, there's a couple right answers here. Sorry. Just because I'm curious. It. Well, I tried, okay? That's true, but... Jeez. Oh, you got me right in the heart. Ugh. He's gone forever. He went out for cigarettes and never came back.
I like the hopeful angle. Master is not okay. gone, he's just training in secret. Improve your magic. Find him. Buff up that magic stat. Get all the mana. Right? She enjoys her hobby. I can dig it. No. Oh, unless I'm wrong. All right, screw me. It's magic. Okay, yeah, it's real magic. Oh. Yeah, right, you're right, it's real magic. Jeez. Oh, Never. Then... Unless I see you shooting fire bolts. Hmm, you're right. I'm gonna be more positive and work harder. I'll support you with my magic. You can rely on me, okay? Okay. Absolutely. Oh, you know what? I actually feel good about that one. I was expecting kind of a mopey story, but it was actually kind of heartwarming. She talked about how she surpassed her master, and master's off training somewhere to finally become an equal again. The master now has to surpass the student. The new master. Abracadabra! Yes, we learned a new skill! In the first two stages of a Pokemon line. Oh, don't tell me. Hey, Himiko, I've got a magic trick. Bam, gotcha! Got your bloomers! Sleight of hand. Works every time. I, I'm so sorry. She believes her master is secretly training to catch up to her one day, and that is why she insists on developing her own magic ability. I promise to help her reconcile with her master when we got out. That was actually a pretty decent story. I enjoyed it. Might not have enjoyed the character too much, but I enjoyed the story. So, thank you for that. Abracadabra! After enough time, the correct truth bullet will be shown. Effective during non-stop mass panic debates and rebuttal showdowns. What a fantastic ability if you're going for 100% and a perfect. We got one more person to talk to, so let's go speak to the last one. Maybe she wanted to cosplay as a robot. She wants to be Jenny XJ9. Hi, Samugi. Um... Take it slow. Take it casual. Take it... normal. Right? Take it slow together. There's an innuendo in there somewhere. I assume. I don't know, any, anytime we're near technology, I always think Muse just around the corner. I'm glad we were able to spend this time with one another. And now to give you a gift. But what could I give someone of your stature? Well, of course, I could give you a weathercock of Barcelos. A weathercock that imitates the Portuguese rooster of Barcelos. A symbol of the truth. This is a popular souvenir from Portugal. I'm not kidding. She actually likes this. Maybe it's the word weather that gets her off. Huh? Oh, sure, you can have it. Thank you. I'm Shuichi Saihara, the master of weathercocks. Uh... Alright, so you just come out and say it, huh? Uh... I love how a lot of people just start their conversations with, You're weird. Hmm. Yeah, you keep using the, that word. I don't think you yeah. know what it means. Don't you hate being the one in the room that just is non-existent to everyone else? That's... Actually, glasses, as far as my oldest sister is concerned, what? mean sexy anime boy. Or in you sports can't. anime, of course. Well, right, otherwise they become a completely different character. Girl, I understand you. Wait, what? That is something I have never heard of before. So does that mean I put my glasses on every day? You forgot? <laughs> um. 
Uh, Samugi, focus, focus. Uh, okay. N no, we... Um... Do you like Oran High School Host Club? Let's start there. I love my pink pretty boys. They're hilarious. Wow, she really is invisible. That's... Oh my god. Seems like... You just have bad friends. Uh, um... <laughs> Shuichi, I love the fact that you're it's trying to make her feel better, but maybe she's just cursed. Samugi, are you good at making face masks? We kind of need those right now. Stop! Are you trying to make me hate you? Because it's not working. Stop trying to make me think you're plain. <laughs> right? Think I'm mediocre, Shuichi! I am plain! I mean, wh whatever. It's plain to see. I could pick last cousin plain. Maybe you're not athletic. Going to. T I I think you're trying too hard. You get stuck behind people because you don't speak. You're too lost in your own world to actually say something. None of the clerks try to help you because you're too far in the back. You don't say anything. I don't want that to become her catchphrase. That's stupid. Wait, I don't want to... I don't want to know that. At least not until the post-game. Okay, that's actually helpful. I can get in movie theaters without a ticket because I'm playing... Are you secretly air? Like, the way you're getting into all these different places that need a form of identification or ticket, you're just flying in there. I mean, unless you know some people. Like, you got a guy. He's like, here, I'll scan for you. Go ahead into the, into the train. Jeez. What is going on? Uh... I think you made me, uh, like, go nuts there for a second. Are you the spy? Shuichi. Is this really something I'm getting into? Like, I think you just put me into a trance there for a small second. Are you the spy? Are you secretly the one we should be afraid of? <laughs> yeah. Next you're gonna tell me Mew hasn't had sex. Bye, Samugi. Alright, Samugi, come here. Hello? Oh, God. Oh. I don't want to deal with those. But, the rule that Monokuma brought out... The, that lab is still open. Huh. I wonder... If we can find Kokichi, and trap him in there, that'd be perfect. And anyway, I got something for ya. And you know... When dealing with the ultimate cosplayer, might as well get her cosplay items, yes? I figured a sewing kit. A basic sewing kit that has a needle and several colors of thread. With this, you'll always be prepared in case a button comes off. Please take this. I can't tell you how many times I have tried to sew my own button back on, but the only home ec class I took was back in fifth grade. <laughs> it's been a while. Yes, well. I go to bed. Especially after a nice training session with Kaito. Aww. I 100% agree with that. My sleep schedule has been so terrible lately, 4 a.m. is practically the time I finally decide to go to sleep. Instagrammers. Ugh. 
Most vile scum. Uh... Huh? I can't believe it. It's like all those girls who cosplay as Junko just to prove they are, quote, bad bitches. That's... What if somebody cosplayed as you? Wouldn't that just be nuts? God, I, I've met this kind of person before. Oh God, the memories. Well, isn't that kind of the point of cosplay? I mean, hey, this is a bomb-ass character. I want to pretend to be them for a while. But soon it consumes you. And all of a sudden you are Shuichi Saihara. You start solving cases and dang it off, it gets real. It is, it's just too much, man. All of a sudden you're... Trapped in a continuous loop. I have to be this character. I must perfect the cosplay. Down to the star-shaped mole on my chest. It has to be perfect. Wait, so if they don't put any life to it, you don't like that they do it? Okay. You kind of lost me. But you you never really had me. Never forget the fun. Okay, Shuichi, you put it into terms I can understand. Sorry. Heavy woof. <laughs> God. Yes, yeah, I know. There's there can be some fun with it. I'll talk about those things if you want to, of course. Oh, well, maybe. If we have another opportunity, I'd be glad to. Hello, Smoogie. How are you today? How is Miss Plain Jane doing in a place like this? Oh my god, it's been forever since we spoke, Sumugi. And I'm not surprised that almost everybody in the comment section really didn't want to speak with you. But that was by design. I mean, who wants to talk to a cosplayer? I'm kidding. Chill. What I actually like about Sumugi, and this is actually not a joke, I have on more than one occasion forgotten Sumugi's name because she is so plain. Even going by her own description of herself and her personality, I have honestly forgotten her name on more than one occasion. It's what? amazing. And she has an eccentric personality. She's the ultimate cosplayer. Like right here, this is personality we're seeing. Oh, and I nice. keep forgetting her name. I've seen a few videos of people trying to memorize Danganronpa characters and their stipulation is if I can remember them then they were memorable nobody right? remembers Sumugi huh? and spoiler alert she's kind of a big deal you can make someone look like a completely different person with makeup yes you can um, uh, um, my eldest and middle sister are both cosplayers. They're different people, I swear. Huh? You're right! Very right. good, Samugi. Ah, Shuichi. Different time. Yeah. Then again, this game did come out in 2017. Ugh! 
Yeah, when, when you're at a convention, it's a completely different universe. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see pictures. Did you get stabbed by a giant 12-foot sword? You know, I've actually seen some very impressive right. cosplays. People go nuts when it comes to... Like, I've seen a... I've seen a full power suit on not only Samus, but Master Chief. With working lights, different weaponry, it all lights up, it's all cool. Very impressive cosplay for possibly a one-person show. And then, of course, you got the characters that are larger than life. Like, say, the one I was parodying earlier, Sephiroth. I've seen somebody come in with the full look, the hair, the wing, the sword, everything. Guy was decked out, it was great. Uh, pardon? No. No, 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 no. I'm just saying you, you put the work in. Stop it! I'm not going for skirt picks. That's wrong. Also, you're wearing a dress, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe you are wearing a skirt. I've completely forgot about your design again. I'm going brain dead. This is actually going to sound kind of pathetic, but when I see really good cosplays, I always want to take a picture of them, but never want to ask, can I take a picture of you? Because I feel weird. <laughs> I'm probably not alone on that, but I get very shy when it comes to taking pictures of amazing cosplay. I'm having a good time too, Shuichi. I love hearing cosplays, the cosplayers work. As the new meme goes, let them cook. I also like seeing some of my favorite characters out in the open. It's pretty neat. Hello, Samugi. Shuichi. What up? I would love to spend more time with you. Maybe you can dress up as me today. <laughs> I could see it. You know, thinking about Samugi in the world of Danganronpa, she's basically just taking the place of the ultimate imposter, in a manner of speaking. She can't dress up as normal people, so I guess that kind of nixes that theory. Because the ultimate imposter would just take somebody's identity, while not being able to fully be them... They, he could at least dress up like them. I believe his original name was Ryota Mitarai? And his final disguise was Byakuya Togami, except extremely thick. <laughs> I wonder if you can do that, Samugi. I wonder what? if I told you to cosplay as, as, as thick Byakuya, would you be able to do it? But then in this universe is a real person, so um. okay, that makes sense. What? What'd I do? Uh, oh, hold on, I blanked. No. A little embarrassing, you say? Uh. Tell me. Tell me everything. Love clothes that were cool or cute? Okay. Good start. Yeah, anime just goes nuts with design. Uh. It can be as outlandish as possible, and it'll still make sense within the universe. There you go. Just make your favorite character's outfit. Bam! Huh? Cosplay. No. Modified an existing outfit so she doesn't make him from scratch. I was about to say you could double as the ultimate seamstress, but nope. But... Did you start selling your cosplays? You know, I think this would be the perfect time to say that I do in fact own a Monokuma suit. As in a human version of Monokuma complete with hood. And I ordered the cosplay, and it is far too small 
for my humongous American self. Maybe one day I'll be able to wear it because, uh, one of my siblings has a matching Monami. So it actually works out. Maybe, maybe one day I'll get into that cosplay. I'll show you all. I'll go to a con with you. That'd be hysterical. Eh? Yeah? You go to the rave? Yeah. Yes! I miss going to conventions. It's been a... It's been a few, rough few years. Drag them into the cosplay swamp. <laughs> that sounds so negative, but I kind of know what she's talking about. You're right! There you go. It, it was fate. The fate of the cosplayer. Uh... You're geeking out. You're being a fangirl. Please! Go nuts! No. Tell me your favorite characters, and I'll see if I've watched their anime. Hmm. Let's see, you've got the hair for it. Hmm. I bet you could pull off a your forger. It's plain to see. You wouldn't be the most popular, but you'd have fans. Oh, thanks. I think she just nailed it. In my opinion, Kaede is more popular. At least they dress her up in cuter outfits. Sorry, Shuichi, you're kind of the plain Jane of the Danganronpa protagonists. Even Makoto gets better billing than you do. Hi, Samugi! Shuichi! This is our final rank. It feels strange to say, but... The last time is with the ultimate cosplayer. Uh, yes, please sew my heart back up, because I'm done speaking with these characters, no! Oh, Danganronpa, you've been with me for so long. It feels like forever. When did I start Let's Playing These? Back in 2014? And I've loved pretty much every single character that I've spoken to. Few exceptions, but it happens. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Samugi. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss everybody. I wonder if she's actually going to dress me up in her favorite character's outfit. That would be just perfect. One more for the road. There you go. Nice glasses case. What is this? <laughs> she's drooling over them. That's very strange. Please, go touch grass. Could it be? Sure. Dress me up as Detective Conan. It'd be perfect. What? Put Shuichi in the best furry suit you can find. Yes! Uh... Let me dress as Kaede. Let me dress as Makoto Naegi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kyoko Kirigiri, here we come. What would I want to be? Uh, um... uh hell, well... Uh, I want to be Paimon from the hit game Genshin Impact. Where the hell did that update come from? <laughs> Oops, forgot to turn off notifications. Uh, 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 oh, that, that, that just threw me off guard. Yeah, make me a knight. Make me Saber from Fate Stay Night. Sure, I'll predict Kaede from Wait. a pretty decent anime. Just no. don't play the games. They are very X-rated. I mean, the original visual novels were... You know what? Never mind. Right, right? Absolutely. Oh. I dressed up as Frank West one year. It was great. Uh... Shizuo? I'm gonna have to look that up. Or a Mikazuki, yeah. Genos. Wait a minute! That's One Punch Man! Oh my. 
Kanata the White. Huh? From that show that used to play in the morning? So huh, maybe. What? Oh, God. Nerd alert! Okay. Hell yeah. What? Just put me in a red coat and call me Full Metal Alchemist. Try? Yes! Yes, Queen! Huh? Let's go to a con together! Um... No way! Hmm. Oh, it's fate. It's fate. No. Oh. Oh, that works. Hey! Ugh. You can find cosplay friends everywhere. Oh boy, here we go. Cosplay time. Right, right? <laughs> She's nerding out. It's so cute. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we show Kaede first. It's just like one of my Japanese animes. Just a cosplay fangirl. But I'll do my best for you, Shuichi. So won't you join me? I want to teach you about the world of cosplay, Shuichi. Join me for cosplay, Shuichi. Join me. You can be my Kirito, and I'll be your Asuna. Okay. You got it. Shuichi! Yeah! Let's go to a con! I love it! I miss convention so much! Ah! A promise is a promise. We will go to a convention together. Couples cosplay! Hey! That'd be perfect! And there we go. The end of the report card. We have become the bestest of friends with Sumugi. I did these out of order, so unfortunately the trophy popped at the most random of times. Oh my god, we're fangirling! Yes! Oh, wow! She actually has anime panties, I can't believe it. Frills and everything. And because we finished everything, Shuichi's undergarments! Yes! That's for finishing everything! She discovered that we both like the same hero and told me that she would make his costume for me to wear to at an event. Inspired by her passion, I agreed to do it. That was a great way to end off the series of social links. It was a grand old time speaking with you, Samugi. You're not as plain as I remember. 2D love, some panels will be filled in from the beginning, effective during the closing argument. Fantastic! And with that, that's everyone. I can't believe it took this long. For beating everyone's social link, or for finishing them, for being the best of friends, we have everybody's underwear. To get 100%, you have to get everyone's. That includes Shuichi's. The universe is always burning in the most important parts! They have great descriptions too, oh my god! Oh, great! As, uh, at a certain national tennis competition, everyone was required to wear all white down to their undies. Oh, man. Okay, Ryoma was good, Kaito's was good. Oh, we've got a few that we need to go through here. This is gonna be fun, just reading all about these undies. Rantaro's favorite boxers. At first glance, they look simple, but once you touch them, you can actually tell they're made of high-quality material. Oh, he, he got his order from MeUndies. Wearing them in style, Rantaro. Gonto's favorite loincloth. For a while, he wore tailor briefs, but he couldn't get used to close-fitting underwear since he grew up in the forest. You know, sometimes they just tighten in the wrong places, so I understand, Gonta. Live wild and free. 
Kokichi's favorite trendy underwear. Being a tease where it can't be seen is what true fashion is all about. You know, I never would have expected pink and yellow stripes for Kokichi's underwear. I guess I can't judge. Korekio's under undergarments. Korekio's favorite bikini bottom! <laughs> the stoic color and sexy form represent the beauty of humanity. Uh-huh. Parts built to keep in Kibo's waist. They protect the delicate parts of his body from temperature and humidity. They need to be changed daily, but can be reused after washed. What? Oh, what happens if you get a little bit of rust rash? I don't even want to think about that. Kirumi's undergarments. Kirumi's favorite panties. An elegant pair of underwear with deep purple lace. Even stylish downstairs. Fantastic. Himiko's favorite panties. She wears pumpkin panties out of respect for a certain magical girl! Oh, no way. I don't even know what that's referencing, but the first thing that came to mind was card captors. Maki's favorite panties. They're easy to move in and have a tie on the side. They're comfortable and easy to wear. I guess it makes her more aerodynamic. Tenko's favorite panties. Although they're spats, the small Japanese flowers printed on them express her femininity. Very matching of Tenko's personality. I'm surprised I didn't leave with a black eye for getting these. Sumugi's favorite panties. She usually wears plain panties, but these are for special occasions. They're not for show, so no panty shots allowed. Damn bakas with your cameras. Angie's favorite bikini bottom. Since it's not underwear, it's totally fine if it peeks out a little. Is it really, though? Because that's, like, basically her entire outfit. Like, there's nothing left to the imagination when you get rid of this. Uh, let's not think about it too much. Mew's favorite panties. Special underwear worthy of adorning her busty, brainy, beautiful goddess body. It didn't take much to get these, let's be honest. These were free. Kaede's favorite panties. A basic and popular pink color with modest lace. Didn't expect that one, not gonna lie. Figured she'd go above and beyond. But that's okay. We got them because we're great! Shuichi's favorite underwear. Don't assume the plaid pattern represents culprits or detectives, or anything of the sort. If you look close enough at the underwear, you can see they're average. Next time on Danganronpa V3. We're done with social links, so let's take a look at all the unlockables at the end of the game and see what we've missed. Finally! See you guys next time.